Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Say hi, Miles. <laughs> so, how is everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing great and fantastic, if that makes sense. I hope everyone is doing fantastic. So, I thought in today's video, I give you guys a little update on my postpartum. So, first of all, Hi. Uh, oh, he just said hi. So, let's talk about how my postpartum is doing so far and how far along I am. So, I'm going to feed him some milk that I pumped earlier. This is breast milk, by the way. He's eating his hands right now. Let me show you. He loves he's eating them hands. Okay, here, I have milk. Okay, put your hands down. Let me show you guys. Put your hands down. Oh, okay. Whenever you're ready, let me know. Okay, so I'm recording on my iPhone, so that's why I'm looking at weird angles. Sometimes I never know where to look when I'm recording with my iPhone. You want some now? Okay, so I am about two months postpartum. Miles here is two months old today. Two months old. Two months old. How how are you doing? Let's talk about you first. How are you doing, huh? Mm hmm Okay. Okay. Okay, I will let them know. All right, I'm back. I had to put Miles down for his nap. He just wasn't having it at all, and that's okay. We all have our moments. We all have our moments. Why did I sound like that? Okay. Where was I? So Miles is sleep. He just isn't sleeping too well at night. His naps during the day are no longer than two hours. And if he's awake, he wants to eat. <laughs> he wants to eat. He's a foodie like me. He hasn't been taking um, bowel movements. Um, and that's normal um, with his age. He could go like three days without going. And then I think like he'll have like stomach pains because of it. Which breaks my heart. But I try to give him like um, digestive natural stuff to help him with it and it works like a charm um what else he's just looking at me right now he's right here he's right here inside this little bassinet that i kind of made for him um he's just staring at me he loves looking at me by the way he loves looking at me um he <laughs> He will just stare at me and like I will like move over like that and then he will he'll just like follow me with his eyes and I feel like he only does that with me which I'll take it cool um he loves me oh he's he's passing out he's going to sleep go to sleep little buddy um so other than that Miles has been very healthy very great his weight everything is normal yeah and he loves to eat like i said he's kind of chunky like he has like good rolls on his arms um now let's go to me how my postpartum is going okay number one so i'm in the two month postpartum so i gave month to, i gave month i gave birth two months ago and i started to feel contractions again on my stomach in my stomach um there it, it's contractions mild contractions but i i think it's because i'm breastfeeding and breast pumping that it is contracting my stomach to go back to its normal self but that's been kind of painful because the pain comes and goes and 
it's normal i guess because that happened with my firstborn and the doctor said it's because of that so it's normal everything painful is just normal when you're pregnant or post or when you're going through postpartum um so the contractions on the stomach hasn't been pleasant but i just fight through them and just put a smile on my face and pretend like i'm okay but really i'm hurting i just don't talk about it too much with my family because you know i don't want to like stress them out about it or i i have it under control basically so that's that i'm still breastfeeding breast pumping every one to four hours um at night i kind of stretch it to like six hours because i need to sleep um and every little bit helps so after i feed miles i just go right back to bed usually i need to pump the the excess milk but I, I i skip that part just so i can get that extra little bit of sleep always helps um i've been having a lot of back pain um, I think I need to go to a professional masseuse around my area. I think that would be kind of nice to go to, just to go to a professional one. Um, my husband massages my back and stuff, but um, I think I need to go to like a professional one. <laughs> I appreciate his massages, but I think I need to go to a professional one um, that specializes in that. Um, but yeah, my back has been really hurting still. Um, I think it's just because, you know, postpartum, I carried miles for nine months. My body's not going to be all like, hey, it's all better, you know. it's There's going to be pain involved still. Um, my hair hasn't been falling out yet, thank God, goodness. But I know that's coming because after you give birth, after that first couple of months, your hair will start shredding and falling out. I don't look forward to that but i accepted it and i don't care if it does my i dyed my hair and it's all ready for it fall out if you want i can see the blonde on the floor um what else my, i am not sleeping as well as i should i'm very tired i'm just pretending like i'm not tired but right i'm really tired right now but i'm just pretending that i'm not <laughs> yeah at nighttime, it's a struggle, like I said. But you just got to think positive. You just think positive and things will just iron itself out. I should be drinking a lot of water, but I just don't because water is just so boring and all i do is drink water but i slow down on it because it's so boring like i just want to drink coke i want to drink sprite i want to have a milkshake i want like you know some of the good stuff but just drinking water is just so stressful sometimes it's like all i can drink and should drink and like i just want to drink coffee one cup at one cup and then I want another one, and then I want another one, and then I want another one. But I can't do that because of because I'm breastfeeding. So I can't do that. So I'm stuck with drinking water. But then I think of the positive, like, okay, not everyone has clean water. So just shut up and drink it. <laughs> um, so I drink I try to drink lots of water, but like I said, I, I slow down on that a little bit. But I need to get back to drinking how much I used to. Um, I also have a lot of hemorrhoids. Um, hemorrhoids are caused by pushing out your baby. And all that pressure that came with it. And I have hemorrhoids. And every time I take a bowel movement, oh my god, it hurts so bad. Where I want to cry. Where I want to feel sorry for myself but then i obviously i don't do that but it's so painful it's so painful like i get blood dripping out of there you know a little tmi i know but i get blood dripping out of there 
and it's not pleasant. It's very painful. But once it's out, the rest of my bowel movement, I know it's gross, is not as painful. So I can go normal. It's not painful. It's just the first, it's just the first pressure, you know? That's the most painful part. Um, I've also have been losing some self-confidence. Like when I look in the mirror, I'm not happy with how I look. I feel like I'm sometimes ugly. And that's not right, you know? Nobody's ugly. So it's just the postpartum sometimes puts me down a little bit. Um, Cause yeah, you don't look how you used to look and Losing the self-confidence uh, sometimes gets to me a bit, but I think positive as I always do, and then it helps me a lot push through it. And I don't know, sometimes just losing self-confidence really puts me down um, because I used to look different. And then now that I'm a mom of two and I'm getting older, just the, my whole look is changing and with the postpartum mentally it just gets to me a bit but you just you gotta fight it you can't let it get to you or else if you let it get to you then you're just gonna stay in one spot and not move forward and i don't want to do that i want to move forward i want to move forward i don't let the lack of self-confidence get to me Like I don't have to, like I don't dress up like I used to or I don't wear makeup like I used to. I don't none of my clothes fit me. So I definitely have to go shopping and find clothes that fit me because I tried fitting into my old jeans and ugh, that was a mess. I shouldn't have done that. One leg wasn't even fitting in my jeans. So um I, then I just had to remember you're only 2 months postpartum. You were pregnant for 9 months. You're not gonna fit into your clothes right away. Take a deep breath and relax, it's okay. And I just think that and then I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm too hard on myself. Like it's only been two months. I'm not gonna fit into my jeans right away. It's all good, it's all good. So I think next week what I'm gonna do is go to the mall. I might vlog it. If you want to see that vlog, subscribe right now. Subscribe and you're gonna watch me go shopping. Um, yeah, so next week I'm gonna go to the mall and find some clothes that fit and wear it yeah they're gonna be bigger jeans they're gonna be bigger tights they're gonna be bigger extra large shirts but you know what that's okay that's okay um so yeah that's been an issue for me but like i said i fight through it all right i think that's it for now um, if I have other symptoms that I'm feeling, I, I will probably make another video of a postpartum one, um, maybe next month during my third month postpartum. So I'm going to wrap up this video now. Um, if you want to see more videos, um, I take video requests as well. So if there's a certain video you want me to film, just comment down below and let me know the video. Um, I'll be posting a lot more gameplays starting next week um so check out those if you are interested in division 2 or overwatch those are my two games that i am playing mainly i do want to get back into sims 4 hmm, maybe maybe um i am gonna be streaming on twitch as well so definitely go give me a follow on twitch if you want to see me live i'm definitely gonna be on webcam so come say hi i'm kind of anti-social on there so just don't mind that. <laughs> I'm just so focused on the game, okay? Um, but yeah, anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's postpartum update, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also click my notification bell. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, before I go, I should give you guys a belly update on how it looks like now. 
let me warn you i do look five months pregnant still it's not going in yet like i said i i don't fit in any of my clothes for a reason so it's not going in yet and that's that's okay that's life okay let me get up and show you here it is see what i mean it's like still there i still have this black line that needs to go away soon but if it doesn't it's all good see i still i still look five months pregnant and it's very jiggly too mm. like my whole hand kind of just fits So that is my belly it might take a year for it to go down fully to the way you it was before i was pregnant we'll see we'll see